The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And as always, it doesn't matter where you're at or what you're doing. You could be standing on your head or selling pencils on the street corner. Doesn't matter as long as you're here at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m., and 3 p.m. And we've kind of been up maybe a quarter percent on the S&P uh, to down flat, maybe a little bit uh, lower than that. But not a lot going on today. NASDAQ's, let's see if that's right. Yeah, NASDAQ's up 20. Uh, so far today, uh, the big thing I'm watching is volume. And uh, up or down, there isn't a lot. We're doing about 6.4 billion shares on the day. And, of course, uh, last week we we're talking about how if you were really bullish, you'd love to have seen light volume going into Thursday as the market went lower. Uh, we did get a couple of uh, oh, about two or three different news articles that put pressure on the market going into the close on Thursday. A little bit more than I think a lot of people would have thought. But... Uh, Volume didn't decrease. Uh, you were about 1% or 2% lighter on volume on Thursday than you were on Wednesday. Uh, normally, you just see that kind of come on out, and people do. So there isn't a lot of bias, at least on the volume side, to up or down. Um, there isn't that much up, I don't think. I'm still fairly bearish uh, in the medium uh, term. Uh, but uh, you, there just wasn't enough volume coming out at the bottom to say that you've got anything to really look forward to on the upside. Uh, it is Monday. Uh, you get options roll over Monday and Tuesday. Generally, you don't get a lot of directional movement in the market uh, until Wednesday after the monthly expiration. Now, is it 100 percent? No, but I'd bet on it uh, being right about 75 percent. So you've got to have a compelling um and a very compelling version of uh, a market direction to do something on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, if you're a little higher on Monday, a lot of times you're a little lower on Tuesday. If you're a little lower on Monday, you're a little higher on Tuesday for options uh, rollover. But we're really kind of setting up uh, what is summertime trading. And over the next 30 days, a lot of options are going to be written on uh, both the put and call side, give us a little idea what they think of. But uh, the first week, if you're in a down market of May, has not been good. Uh, we've seen what happened uh, at last fund buying, which uh, we're starting to see in the uh, in the high beams uh, coming. But that's another we're a good another uh, two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks into that, and the way that the, the end of the month falls on the 29th uh, of uh, on uh, Friday, you're really not going to look for any kind of fun buying to really come in till the second or third of May, uh, and that's generally where you start seeing a huge amount of people. Amsgray, Attenlay, uh, exit stage left to Murgatroyd uh, for the summer. Um, although summer selling is not what it used to be, uh, neither are any of us. But uh, we, as we start looking for some stuff, I would love to see the market go a little bit higher, maybe 44, 50, 44, 75, uh, end up with no volume, and uh, maybe it takes a few days. As I said, you can be bearish, uh, but probably being bearish and short uh, are keys to probably giving away more money than getting it uh, in a bear market. Um, as I've said before, if you go back and look at bear markets, markets are still going up three-fourths of the time. They just go up a very tiny amount. 
Uh, and then uh, you get that quarter. Um, so it ends up being kind of one step forward and two steps back kind of thing. Sometimes in a bear market, it's three steps back. And then you get a week or two that makes everybody think it's over and then it's not. Uh, and you get uh, a little depressed. As I've said uh, fairly consistently, I think still, that low 4100 area, 4107, 4115, on the S&P cash has had high volume. It has not been retested. And maybe that's what it takes to get in there and make a good low uh, to bring a bullish and uh, very uh, uh, bullish case to the market. Maybe we get down there and the volume doesn't decrease and it breaks through. But uh, I am not really thinking of any kind of long-term bullish market uh, coming back to us. Uh, on other things going on, um, I did not, uh, although I will do it here. Um, we've had the first, I mean, just inkling of politicians starting to buckle on energy policy uh, over the last couple of days. And again, we probably have, uh, I don't know, around 67 senators uh, that would vote now for some kind of policy that include more exploration and more production. That does not uh, go uh, that way in the House. They're pretty much entrenched in the same uh, percentages that they've been, although those guys are probably going to face a much more hostile electorate uh, come November. But, uh, you know, unless something happens, uh, to change that, and it certainly could. Uh, it looks to me like energy policy is hard to say. You want to be that. Uh, you you want to be uh, short. We've made some kind of high for a while. It just looks to me like uh, crude could get all the way to 150. Uh, I think there's what a high at 175. I'm going to have to go back and look at the charts. Uh, but uh, certainly could see that. No reason for it. There's plenty of oil. Uh, just a determination that uh, what we need to do is uh, shock everybody into quit using it. Uh, but there is no good alternative. If everybody wanted to go to electric cars, where would the electricity come from? Well, they couldn't do it. Where would all the batteries come from? There's not enough lithium. So we've got this uh, kind of policy that's uh, suicidal. Kind of like when all the dolphins swim up on shore and just beach themselves. I don't understand it. Uh, it doesn't focus uh, any kind of reality uh, on the problem. Uh, but uh, eh, who said anything needs to make sense? 877-927-6648 is the number to call. And I can feel you picking up the phone now. Other things going on, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. And uh, eh, did we get everything through? I think that was it. Uh, oh, did I do that? Yeah, I did, but I didn't update that one. Uh, that needs to go. So let's do that right now before I forget about it. Tick, tick, tick. That's leftover from Thursday. Anyway, volume was about 1% lighter on Thursday than it was on Wednesday. And about the uh, same, not much different from uh Tuesday to Wednesday, so we didn't get a light volume flow. At best, probably go sideways or a little higher. We'll be back after this. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Turn. We'll do a little history, and this actually goes into something that we were talking about on Thursday. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. 1983, the Osborne Computer Corporation officially announced the Osborne Executive Portable Computer, the follow up to its extremely successful Osborne One. This is the computer that, according to lore, took down the company known as the Osborne Effect, which we talked about Thursday. The legend is that by linking the announcement of this computer earlier in the year, dealers canceled all orders for Osborne Ones, effectively destroying the company's cash flow and hindering operations going forward. This resulted in the cancellation of the company's IPO and eventually to bankruptcy. And uh, Osborne Effect, announcing stuff and killing off existing sales. It is my best theory for why we're starting or why we're seeing uh, real weakness in AMD and NVIDIA at the moment as uh, it has been uh, let everybody know that the new versions are coming out. For a variety of reasons, they will be very spectacular. Uh, one of the more interesting things uh, from uh, what we now know about these next versions, right now they're selling the 3000 series. 3,050, 3,060, 3,070, 80, 90s. Uh, anyway, they're going to go to these 4,000 series and probably going to be available late August, 1st of September. Uh, most of these are going to be uh, not only a lot faster, but uh, going to suck a huge amount of power. So people are thinking with all that power, it's got to come not just a little bit better, but a whole lot. But uh, where uh, the current cards could pull up to 250 watts, uh, they're talking about some of these cards uh, pulling 500 and 600 watts. Uh, you're going to have to get a new power supply and probably a handful of fans to dissipate all that heat. And, of course, uh, with great power becomes great responsibility. And uh, what are we going to say about that? I... I don't know how good these things are going to be, how fast, but amazingly, they're going to suck a huge amount of electricity. But uh, apparently all getting set for the last couple of weeks of 
uh, August where the uh, 3E conference is. That's the uh, uh, one where video games and electronic devices, that kind of stuff is shown. That's late August. Normally in L.A., I do not know if that's going to continue uh, there or if it's going to be put somewhere else. As it's, uh, you know, L.A. is kind of a DMZ now. But uh, certainly you've got uh, a lot going on there. But uh, I think, you know, maybe in the lead up to that, we're probably going to find uh, that they've got some hot stuff that people are willing to pay for. But uh, in the meantime, they may have just announced uh, everything from processors to video cards uh, to new motherboards to two new kinds of memory and uh, a giant upgrade cycle. But in the meantime, uh, hurting sales. 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com, as some have done already. Uh, the first question is, uh, where do you see options expiring for Apple on 429? Um, I don't know. Uh, again, I don't tend to do much of anything right now with options expiration. You're going to know a ton more on Wednesday than you know today from options. Right now, you've got a lot of noise going back and forth. Uh, overall, um, I like the trade of having the 160 puts, uh, mostly because the underlying uh, issues uh, of uh, uh, China right now, where most of these things, or at least half of them, are still assembled. Uh, although a lot of them moved, to, uh, Apple's moved to Vietnam and India, but the shutdowns continue to be draconian. Uh, we see, you know, what's going on uh, in Hong Kong and Shanghai, but uh, it's even worse. I hear in some areas, uh, certainly around uh, uh, these assembly uh, uh, buildings and places where they'll have 100 or 200 thousand people show up. Uh, for a big assembly line product uh, production for uh, Apple's iPhones to get ready to send out new stuff. Uh, with those being closed and shut down and many people uh, locked up, it's hard to see that uh, Apple's going to do well just from a uh, prospect of not people not wanting it, uh, not you know that not being the issue. It's just actually, can you make them? And do they make up any of that business later if they can make more of this stuff as we go into the summer? I don't think so. There's not a lot of excitement to begin with with the current product line. Uh, but uh, eh, I do digress. Okay, so what else do we have? Somebody announced uh, or brought up IBM earlier. I haven't looked at that a while on the show. Um, uh, for the third or fourth time, is it? I think it's the fourth time. IBM has bet its uh, future on a new uh, direction. Uh, it has money still coming in from its uh, pretty wise bet at the time of Red Hat, or they'd look really horrible. But uh, certainly the, the that kind of business is doing well for them, but it doesn't make their stock price go any higher. Doesn't really do any. Does keep it high or enough going on out there that they can continue to do stuff. But uh, their bet on quantum computers is kind of an all or nothing thing. I don't see that they're close enough or even hear anything about them being close enough to launch a product. It may be yet another year, uh, as they say on Wall Street, dead money. Um, I can't see a lot of upside from the Red Hat to offset uh, their declining uh, stuff elsewhere uh let's go to the usual suspects that we talked about at the beginning um advanced micro you've you've got a fairly good low going back to this gap uh that occurred on july 28th of 2021 that went up on 140,000 shares it looks like maybe you might have something here with this uh uh, 62 million shares so far today, day in and over. That doesn't mean this thing's going up. Uh, as I said, you know, you could get something where maybe this bounces a little bit, uh, gets back over 100, comes back down, fools around for a month or two. And when everybody starts thinking about uh, this false computer uh, business and all the stuff that uh, AMD could sell, 
uh, and these new fire breathing uh, video cards and processors and motherboards. Uh, maybe that's where this thing takes off, but it kind of looks like it's going to need at least some level of consolidation before that happens. Uh, when we look at NVIDIA, uh, it doesn't really need to wait for all that stuff as badly as AMD does. You do have some kind of nice lows out here in the 208 area. You got to 210.79 this morning. Uh, the first low out here on January 24th was uh, 92 million shares at 208.88. Um, got into that 56 million shares on Thursday. Today, you're about 37 million shares. Uh, again, doesn't mean that uh, you're instantly going higher. Maybe 30 percent. Again, that consolidation. And maybe that sets up a, a bullish case mid summer. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, I got a question here on the Twitter. Always of uh, John McCain who called it the Twitter and the Facebook. Oh, it's like the Goldman Sachs. Although I, for some reason, I have no idea why they, the Goldman Sachs is actually that, and they make you say it, but uh, the Twitter and the Facebook. Uh, question on uh, Twitter: Is anything going to happen that could make us some money in the in the Twitter? And uh, I have a feeling uh, Musk is uh, fairly brilliant 
on his campaign to take over Twitter. Uh, and uh, he's uh, a lot of people have a real axe to grind on uh, this, and it doesn't have anything to do with money. Uh, he's shown the feckless leadership of the CEO, and he's uh, shown the culpability and worthlessness of the board of directors. Um, what we found out is on Thursday's close, the uh, the people on the board of directors, uh, how much money do you think the board of directors have in Twitter? How much did they sell over the last year? Just a thought. I don't know if anybody knows the uh, knows the truth. Thirty-seven hundred dollars. All the what are nine or twelve directors of the company? They have a grand total of thirty-seven hundred dollars worth of stock. They have absolutely no skin in the game. They could care less whether the stock goes higher or lower. lower and by doing so, have opened themselves to a round of lawsuits. Uh, Musk may end up paying five, maybe ten million dollars uh, for not disclosing something. Uh, that may have saved him fifty million dollars. It's not a criminal act, so he may have just uh, done the calculation and decided that uh, it was worth forty million dollars not to do it. Um, it's not a big deal. It happens all the time in Wall Street. But uh, a lot of people have an axe to grind. Of course, these people that are in the board of directors uh, know nothing about the business. Uh, most of them, have, uh, if they've done anything, have just logged in to uh, update their password because they've expired. Uh, so you've got a lot of people just cash and checks are being a board of directors. The CEO, as I said, uh, worthless, feckless, spineless, uh, has done literally nothing since he took over from the drug-addled CEO before him. So as far as I could tell, my guess, if I wanted to put some money and actually wanted my cash out of it, I'd want Musk. Of course, a lot of people, uh, especially uh, in the... Uh, uh, coastal cities of the far, far, far west uh, look at this as an issue of uh, you know, we can't have anybody with free speech uh, leanings out here. Uh, just we, we couldn't have that. We've got to censor folks, continue telling them stuff that is not true, that has been proven not true over and over again. But you know what? The last thing we want to do is have this thing make any money. So I don't know what uh, must in uh, game is here. He's already proven just about everything he needs to know. He's uh, millions and millions ahead. Uh, but my guess is that much like um, we saw Bezos by the Washington Post, um, he looks at it as something that could promote his other businesses. At the same time, uh, take away a weapon of, that people have beat on him with for a long time. So uh, I think he's probably fairly committed. And uh, you got, uh, I'm going to say, the uh, opposition of the French in the German, uh, to the Germans in the uh, Second World War, little or none. Um, they're going to talk a great deal about it, but again, they make almost nothing on doing so. So uh, I don't know. Are they going to want to die on that hill for nothing for $3,700? Uh, I think the only reason they're in there now uh, is uh, probably more political than actual financial reasons. So I think he's got a, a good idea. And, uh, I mean, if he can make Twitter uh, have a similar valuation uh, as uh, Tesla, then you got to think the stock is 300 bucks. Um, I think uh, Tesla is wildly overpriced. But uh, he draws that kind of overpricedness to his stock. So, yeah, I don't see any reason to buy it today. But uh, the longer he goes on, and if the more serious he's out there, probably a fairly good long term bet that he is going to do something with it. Uh, and uh, how is he going to do it? He's going to run it with subscriptions instead of selling advertising. You will no longer be uh, the product, you will be the customer. And uh, maybe it's the first move out of 
uh, you being the uh, product uh, out here. 877-927-6648. Yep, he loves subscriptions. That's it. Uh, <laughs> okay. The Twitter, uh, the Goldman Sachs. Uh, okay. 877-927-6648. Anyway, I rant on. Okay, what else do we have out here? Siri um, was down a little bit. Uh, Pre-market actually gapped down. Uh, very tough to see this thing going on long term uh, as more and more people use the Internet instead of satellite-based systems. Uh, to a certain part of the market, it is uh, interesting. Um, I know that the, in aviation, uh, they produced uh, weather products, but with MUS uh, satellite system coming online, it doesn't make me feel warm and fuzzy uh, that we're going to see uh, Cirrus uh, work out long term. Uh, other things going on out here. Volume's not all that exciting, but I just think this thing's in a big range from just under seven bucks to probably just around six bucks. Uh, okay, Nectar Therapeutics. Nectar. Uh, N -T N -K -T -R. Take a quick look at. A gap down. Uh, Halted all trials involving its key cancer drug, um, but you don't have the volume to blow out the previous low, which is interesting. If I can find my mouse here, me mouse. Uh, down on huge volume back on the 14th of March with 26 million shares. You're only doing about 14 out here. So I'm, am I going to dive on this grenade? No, but uh, it could be worse. Just uh, let you know that. Uh, Bank of America out uh, pre-market. Quarterly profit of $0.80 cents per share. $0.05 cents above estimates. Revenue also topped. Wall Street forecasts on strength in consumer lending. Bank of America rose 1.1% at 9 o'clock. Uh, it did open lower and kind of go a little bit lower. It's uh, making a little bit of, uh, of uh, shiny cloud cover over Thursday's day. Volume's okay. Uh, you still haven't exceeded the market low that had 108 million shares, uh, what, 79 on Thursday, 51 today. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. And we have a request to look at uh, Vale Valley. Uh, I once called four different operations of VALE uh, in different uh, parts from uh, North America, from Canada to the U.S. to Mexico and South America, and they all pronounced it four different ways. So, huh. first of all, you got to figure out how your company's pronounced before you do any better. Uh, although I continue to see that and hear it. Here and there. You had a very nice uh, definitive top in this from March 7th at uh, $20.96. You went to $21.99 on a little abandoned baby up here on April 4th. Uh, that only had 30 million shares compared to that 52 million share high. You're back underneath it. So uh, for the most part, you're at a little bit of a support area with this gap higher on the 21st of March. That was 35 million shares. Thursday, you had 26. Today, you got about 11. So you're kind of at support, but uh, longer term, eh, it's hard to say. With inflation, it's hard to bet against anything that's in the ground. Uh, to, 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 okay, what else did we have out there? SBSW? What is that? SBSW? I don't know what that is. SBSW. Uh, SBSW, SBSW. Uh, Sibian Stillwater Limited. Okay. Um, you just uh, bounced uh, higher. You're back in with lighter volume. You gapped up on the eighth with uh, 6.3 million shares. Uh, Thursday, 3 million. Today, uh, 2 million. So you got kind of where about halfway in that gap, which is where I'd probably been a long participant. Um, probably not going to uh, really do much more until it gets back over a three by three or a nine day moving average. At that point, it probably should take a run at 19. Uh, not exactly sure how long that would take. Uh, Sakura Blue. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is, uh, that is a big deal. Uh, looks like uh, Le Pen could win in France. Uh, they are preparing the party for loss over there. And, of course, uh, you had a lot of people that were not very much different than, i.e., World War II, with policies of appeasement to the Russians this time. Uh, and, of course, uh, that went for the uh, Germans, too. And, uh, yeah, appeasement hasn't worked well, has it, uh, historically or even lately. But uh, uh, for Merkel, uh, a tarnish on her name for uh, trying to uh, enrich in the Russians, thinking that would keep them away. Uh, and it only made it worse, as many times things do. When you have to deal with evil. Okay, I got a couple more things going on 
here. Okay. Now that's uh, those. Uh, to avail. Wendy's came out with earnings. A uh, little bit of a hit piece on them, too. Um, but uh, I guess no earnings, excuse me, just a hit, hit piece. And I'm seeing a lot of those uh, over the last few days. And that is, uh, I don't think a lot of uh, reporters for uh, magazines or newspapers or places like the Wall Street Journal make all that amount of cash. I always wondered how much it would take just to bribe one of those guys to put out a negative article for you. Um, you know, give them a hundred grand, make you five or ten or hundred million dollars for being short on the right uh, right side. A lot of self-serving uh, articles out lately uh, that are have the thinnest veneer of actually being any good. Of course. Uh, it doesn't do you any good, let me put it that way. Of course, uh, Wendy's uh, not prepared for a lower uh, consumer spending. Yeah, it's just the opposite is probably true. More people go to it uh, in a declining market than do uh, Outback and the rest. Uh, so I find it highly dubious uh, from history that they are or anything are close to that hit piece that uh, came out. But, uh, you know, you got 3 million shares in the previous 9 million share low. Eh, probably about as bad as it gets, of course. Not going to be any better that uh, all the stuff that they sell is going higher. But uh, what are you going to do and where are you going to go? Uh, when uh, going out, it uh, used to be the Outback and maybe just Wendy's by fall. Uh, okay. Probably the best thing is they get their beef from South America, which has not been impacted as badly as uh, beef here in the United States has been by higher prices. But, uh, yeah, we don't raise that. Well, we do raise some, but not that much for uh, hamburgers. We tend to get a great deal of it from South America. Uh, okay, so that's another thing off my list of things to talk about today. 877 Okay. Someone talking about stealing cats, and all I could think of is real alive cats, not catalytic converters. Although that business has been on and off uh, a long term uh, uh, moneymaker for thieves for a long time. Uh, we've talked about uh, this earlier in the den, and that is, uh, as I said, for years I would have nothing to do with uh, Chinese companies. Uh, people laughed and scorned and mocked me. I have my uh, uh, revenge served on a very cold dish as we look at some of these bigger ones. Um, again, I think they're going to have a vote, what is it, late uh, May, last week of May. Um, buck 90. I don't know how much lower it goes when they become delisted. If you just looked at the chart, it doesn't look that bad. Um, I mean, uh, you haven't tested a buck seventy one, but you do have that low of two hundred forty million shares with just a uh, hundred million shares today. So on a chart basis, it would say that they're not going to de delist each uh, or what they're doing. But uh, I don't know if I'd want to make that bet or not. Again, I'm not one to buy Chinese companies. SWX. The return of my money is more than uh, worth more than the return on my money. Southwest Gas Holdings. Uh, talking about selling to Carl Icahn. Uh, what a name. It reminds me of there was a band called the Poodles and they changed the name to the Fabulous Poodles and they had a bunch of hits because everybody had to refer to them on the radio as the fabulous poodles. Uh, icon uh, and Icon. I think that you got to say that name's probably pretty good. 
Anyway, 82.50 per share and above it, much different than the Twitter reception. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, uh, Duffy from the Den brings up Nucor, NUE, another day, another dollar higher, 172.07. Volume's a little bit lighter out here. No signs that this thing's breaking down. Uh, if you're into the steel business, uh, I keep uh, getting quotes, say steel buildings going up every day, uh, not uh, being assembled, uh, literally just uh, the price going higher and uh, aircraft uh, hangers. Uh, in uh, almost uh, infinitely uh, uh, vapor supply because uh, no one wants to be uh, contracting for steel at this moment. I uh, did see the first sign of, uh, of uh, uh, cinder blocks, uh, which have been an incredibly short supply around Tampa for a while. Uh, and a bunch of them heading down the road. So I think a lot of uh, new uh, housing uh, construction that has cut down, especially at the lower end of the economic scale, um, is allowing some of these to uh, show up at uh, business sites and strip malls and stuff. I don't know why anybody actually needs to build any new strip malls around here. 
But uh, there's some new places going up, uh, and they've gotten uh, the uh, key to all building in uh, this area, which is cinder blocks. Uh, but that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. So maybe a little bit more construction in the business side now that they're getting components back. Uh, gold did hit uh, the magic number today and backed off of it. Um, right now, at least for the next couple of days, I'm kind of looking at cash is king. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it all in my mattress. Uh, don't think we're going to probably have a lot of movement one way or the other till Wednesday as option rollovers uh, reign supreme. So when you can, not when you have to, and we'll see you here tomorrow. Bright and shiny. St. Bat Channel. St. Bat Time.